kilometer, 1200 islands and 2.4 million square kilometers of exclusive economic zone. India is becoming more integrated globally. We will be more dependent than before on the ocean and the surrounding regions. We must also assume our responsibility to shape its future. So Indian Ocean region is at the time our interest. Equally, we will work to ensure a safe, secure and stable Indian Ocean region that delivers us all to the shores of prosperity. And our capabilities will be there for those struck by the ocean ferry or caught in distress on the seas. Second, we will depend our economic and security cooperation with our friends in the region, especially our maritime members and island states. We will also continue to build their maritime security capacities and their economic strength. Three, the collective action of cooperation will best advance peace and security in our maritime region. It will also prepare us better to respond to emergencies. That is why in 2008, India promoted the Indian Ocean Naval Symposium. Today, it brings together 35 navies of the region. Our goal is to deepen our mutual understanding on maritime challenges and strengthen our collective ability to address them. We also support efforts to strengthen our regional mechanism for maritime cooperation from dealing with piracy, terrorism and other crimes to marine safety and natural disasters. India has also started maritime security cooperation with Maldives and Sri Lanka and we hope that Mauritius, Seychelles and other nations in the region will also join this initiative. Four, we also seek a more integrated and cooperative future in the region that enhance the prospects for sustainable development for all. We must promote greater collaboration in trade, tourism and investment, infrastructure development, marine science and technology, sustainable fisheries, protection of marine environment and overall development of ocean or blue economy. To me, the blue chakra for our wheel in India's national flag represents the potential of blue revolution or the ocean economy. That is how central the ocean economy is to us. For those who live by the ocean, climate change is not an issue of debate but a serious threat to existence. We must assume leadership in our region and call for a more concrete and fair global action to address the challenge of climate change. Our Indian Ocean Dream Association can be an important instrument for pursuing our vision for a sustainable and prosperous future in the region. We often define regional groupies, grouping around landmass. The time has come for a strong grouping around the Indian Ocean. We will pursue this with a new vigor in this year ahead. There can be no better place to host the Secretariat for IORA than Mauritius. I am pleased that the Secretary General each from India. Five, those who live in this region have the primary responsibility for peace, stability and prosperity in Indian Ocean. But we recognize that there are other nations around the world with strong interests and stake in the region. India is deeply engaged with them. We do this through dialogue, visits, exercises, capacity building and economic partnership. Our goal is to seek a climate trust 
and transparency, respect for international maritime rules and norms by all countries, sensitivity to each other's interests, peaceful resolution of maritime issues and increase in maritime cooperation. We seek a future for Indian Ocean that lives up to the name of Sagar security and growth for all in the region. We should be inspired by monsoon which nurtures and connects us all in the region. We will try to unite our region in partnership as we were once in geography. An ocean that connects our world should become the pathway of peace and prosperity for all. It is no coincidence that I speak of our hopes for the Indian Ocean region in Mauritius. Our partnership with Mauritius is among our strongest maritime relationship in this world. Our partnership will grow. We will together build our capabilities. We will also train and patrol the seas together. But the foundation of this partnership is larger. It is our shared values and a common vision. It is our willingness to look beyond our own domain to assume our responsibility for the region. Mauritius is a key leader for a secure and sustainable future for the Indian Ocean. We in India are proud to be your partner. Thank you very much. Today, we are equally proud to have a relationship that speaks of the needs of our time. We relate to each other from the comfort of our shared democratic values. We are partners in our economic progress. We shoulder our shared responsibility to advance security in the Indian Ocean. 